everyone is a question on number line show the fractions 2 by 5 3 by 5 4 by 5 and 5 by 5 on number line so we have to plot this numbers on number line so how to do this now let me first draw a number line here so all these numbers are like a positive number so let me take a zero here now remember whenever you're dividing this the first thing you should look here is denominator all the numbers here the denominator is 5 which means we're dividing the 0 and 1 into 5 equal parts okay now these are proper fractions proper fraction means whenever the numerator is smaller than denominator they are called proper fraction you can see 2 3 4 and 5 5 is actually 5 by 5 is equal to 1 but the other numbers 2, 3, 4 which are in the numerator they are smaller than denominator which means they become proper fraction proper fraction always lies between 0 to 1 okay then if it's an improper fraction they lie between some other numbers okay. so if they are proper fraction all the proper fraction always comes between 0 and 1 so I'm going to divide this 0 and 1 into 5 equal parts I said parts here so this will be like 1 part okay this is 1 this is second part this is third this will be fourth and let me take this as fifth so let me write this one here this will become one this one and this is zero so like I said these are five equal parts so don't count the bar which I have drawn just count the space here this is one this is two three four and five so just to avoid the confusion I'm going to remove this part here okay now we have to plot it so after 0 so 0 it will be uh, 0 can be written as 0 by 5 or you can just write down 0 and the next number will be 1 by 5 okay we have done 5 equal parts the next number will be 2 by 5 the next number will be 3 by 5 next number will be 4 by 5 and the next will be 5 by 5 but we know 5 by 5 is equal to 1 that is why we got here 1 so the first here they have given is 2 by 5 so 2 by 5 is here I'm marking with the letter A and the next one is 3 by 5 which I'm marking with B and the next is 4 by 5 I'm marking with C and the last one is 5 by 5 which is equal to 1 I'm marking with D so I hope this question is clear you have to just look for the denominator first of all check for if the number is a proper fraction or improper fraction if it's a proper it always lies between 0 and 1 if it is improper it gonna lie between some other number you have to convert this into a mixed fraction to know this you can just watch my videos so I have explained a few questions which are uh, improper fraction you'll come to know this now in case you have any other question on this concept or uh, any other question from any other chapter you can just drop a comment i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching